my friends, my name is Leah. This is my very first YouTube video. Usually you'd find me streaming on Twitch as Sleepy Scropia, but I wanted to start making YouTube videos going over my progress with Animal Crossing since the videos don't stay on there like they do on YouTube and some people would like to keep up with what I'm doing. This is Merkwood. It is hugely based off of The Shire and Lord of the Rings, but its own thing also. Um, I have two islands, so my second one is named Mushroom, which is based off of Breath of the Wild, which it's not ready to be toured yet. So I'll get to that one day. But everything that you're going to see here and on Mushroom, if you're interested, I make it all on Twitch, so I don't play at all anymore off stream by myself. I really only build stuff on Twitch anymore. So if you're interested in watching me do all those things, that's the place you should go. Um, so first let's start with my map. We're going to be going over the bottom, whole bottom part of my map is done, my museum, and then the top left, top right, is nowhere near done. I have no idea what to put there, so we're not going to be going over there today. Oops. Okay. Start with my villagers. So we have Grizzly, Marshall, Deirdre, Fauna, Poppy, Teddy, Kiki, Eric, Benjamin, who was my all-time favorite, and Nan. So, well, let's get a walk in. This is my entrance. As you can see, there's just like this little overgrown section right above with mushrooms and like a little tiny pond with a waterfall there. And then there's like a little seat here for you to wait for your pals to come over. We'll start by going to the left, get the residential buildings out of the way. But this is Fauna's house and you'll see that I've attempted to try and make them look like hobbit holes as best as I could by building the houses into the cliffs. We'll go down here. This is my little flower field. I wanted to incorporate colorful flowers without using them throughout my island. So I made this little area here with these purple flowers because I love the purple flowers, they're beautiful. This would be a good spot to have a picnic or a nap on this little stump. This is also the place where we get honey. I thought this was a really, really cute area when I made it. So next we'll go over the bridge here. So across that bridge is my house. But I did want to do those little tiny lakes everybody's been doing. Um, except yeah, mine's a lot smaller than most. That's okay. I thought uh, this was super nice. If we go down here, this is where all my shops are. So we have nooks here with a little tiny area for you to have a coffee, read a book maybe if that's kind of what you're wanting to do during the day. And then go in there and go shopping. If we continue to the left, we have like a little roundabout here. Don't look at my beaches. <laughs> Those are not done. <laughs> this is Able Sisters. Um, there's like a little display out there with all the stuff that they're selling. If we go up here, this is Poppy's house. Poppy is my pumpkin farmer. So she's got a little pumpkin farm here ready to harvest and I did whoops that's not right I did try to make um a windmill here on the left you can kind of see it it's the wind turbine with the silo I tried my best um but just to give you a better understanding of what the area looks like next we'll go up here and this is one of my favorite spots on my island so this is my museum we start off strong with this fossil being the centerpiece of the path as well as we have some little, little little stuff over here, like little fossils and bugs, uh, just outside the museum on display towards the entrance there. If you go to the left here, there's a tiny little stump area with different sized stumps as well as mushrooms, just because I didn't know what to do with this, honestly, so I was like, mushroom circle. That's always my, my reasoning behind everything. Next is this little blanket here that you can sit and do your bug research and your mushroom research, uh, which is fitting to just do that outside of the museum. So let me just uh, give you a better view of that actually. Let me get myself out of the way here. So this looks super stinking cute. Oh, my friend Kate's online. 
and we're not gonna go that way because that way's not done. So we'll take this super secret path here. This is my house, which we'll go in on another video. I'll do a tour of my house one day. I think that'd be a good separate video. But this is very heavily inspired by Bag End. My house. If we go up here, We got Grizzly's house. He makes various wooden furniture and whatnot. I gave him a little bench here with coffee for him to enjoy his morning after he goes fishing for a little snack. If we come down this way, we will see Kiki's house, which is also dug into the cliffs like that. And then it's right next to Fauna's house. So yes, we've briefly been here. So now we'll start on the right side. So this is Teddy's house right here. He has a cute little rocking chair and a little tea set for him to enjoy his mornings on the porch. Thought that was stinking cute. This area usually looks cooler, I'm not gonna lie. I have not played on this island in a little bit, so the grass <laughs> doesn't match the color of the towel, which is okay. But this is like a little area for you to lay down and usually it'll look like you're laying down in like a in like a meadow or something like that um and there's a little book next to you this was really super fun to make this little circle area so now if we come back down we'll go to a couple more houses this is my resident services right up here so if I come down here, this is Deirdre's house. She has a cute little uh, mushroom themed tea section outside of her house. Thought that was really fitting for her. Don't look at my beach. <laughs> it's so bad. Um, here's Benjamin's house. He's my all time favorite. I love him so much. He deserves the world. And then if we just go up here, we've got Eric's house. Same kind of deal. He's got a little bench for him to sit and relax in a tiny little garden, which I thought was stinking cute. If we go up to the right of resident services, we have two more houses. I think they're the final two. So this is Nan's little house here. Oh, Poppy's doing some research on the flowers. A baby. So this is Nan's house here. And then just up here is Marshall's house. It's his little reading nook and whatnot. This was a super awkward space to work with. I didn't really plan it out that well, but I think it worked out. I think it looks good for, for the area, for the amount of space that I would give myself. So now we're gonna go up to the forest area. This is the path to the forest. So right here are these ducks in love. They're on a date, which is like an ongoing theme I like to do on my islands is have these little ducks in love. So I thought it was like a little romantic area with the little candle. They're by a little river. It's my favorite. If we come down here, this is the bridge going into the forest section, which I really like how this looks on the camera. And this, this is a nice photo. Continuing on, we're not gonna go to the right because I'm not done that section, so we don't look. But if we go up here, you can see my forced perspective forest. Up my camera up to give you a better idea. So I have a moon up there, which is really cool. And then I put some various bugs in the forest, which I, th I need to kind of work on it a little bit more at the back there, but there's some tarantulas and some moths. I love moths, so. I thought that was very fitting for the forest. If we come back down and we go down this little pathway, there's a little bit more forest perspective to kind of make it look like you're up high on a cliff. And then this is just another view of the forest as well. If we come down this section, this is one of my favorite spots actually, is my ant circle. I think this is so cute. I tried to put them on pillars like this, which was, let me tell you, it wasn't a fun time terraforming this area, but um, I think it turned out really good. <laughs> and I wanted them to look sort of grand, like Ents, 
so I'm really, really, really happy with how this turned out, even though it was a pain. If we come up here to the left, we have my campground, which has a couple little tiny camp, um, camp areas with the little tiny tents, and then there's the main event campsite here as well. So each one of these has their own little thing going on. So like this has their own little cooking area. It's a little book inside of this one and a little candle inside of this one, as well as a little area to roast your marshmallows because that's what you do when you're camping, right? This is the final spot up here. So this is a little mushroom circle, which I love. It's a theme. I like doing circles. I've got the circle meadow. I've got the circle um, of stumps by the museum. And now this is just a straight up mushroom circle. I like this area because it reminds me of New Leaf a lot and how you would have to only decorate with mushrooms and stumps and flowers. It reminds me a lot of that. And I think that's why I like this area so much. But yeah, that's that's about it for my island so far. Let me give you a better perspective of my campsite here. Is it? Oh, I'm stuck. Very peaceful. I would camp here. But yeah, this is this is pretty much. I'm stuck again. Here we go. This is pretty much all I have for Merkwood so far. Let me get on my camera here. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so if you're interested in watching me make stuff like this, I always stream it on Twitch. Um, you can find me at Sleepy Cecropia as well. I do not have a dream address yet because I'm still working on it. And last time I uploaded my dream address, I regretted it because nothing was done and it was just messy. Otherwise, I'll let you know when I upload it. Same with mushrooms. Lately, we've been mostly working on mushroom because I'm obsessed with Breath of the Wild right now. So it's been really fun to make stuff on mushroom right now. I need to make a better idea of the custom designs I use because I'm the worst and I didn't think that I would make YouTube videos so I've never kept track of my designs so bear with me. If you're on my discord I'll always post designs that I like on discord but other than that I need to find them so I don't have a list quite yet. But I hope you enjoyed your time here and I think that YouTube is going to be very fun for me to do as like a kind of like a side thing with Twitch to kind of give you progress on my island that won't delete like my Twitch VODs. So I hope that you'll stick around and if you liked what you see, I'm happy to have you here. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for getting to the end of this video. I appreciate it. <laughs> have a good one. See you next time.